Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're looking at segment addition and subtraction uh, using algebra. So in the previous video, we looked at numbers, but this time we're looking at algebraic expression and trying to find the length of a particular segment, okay? So some of the steps are similar to that video. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and look. It's same title, but instead of algebra, it's numbers, okay? So let's take a look at a couple of examples. Okay, here it says point R is on line segment QS. Given QS is 5X minus 2, QR is equal to 3X minus 6, and RS is equal to 4X minus 2. Determine the numerical length of RS. Okay, so we're going to start off with the first part. Point R is on line segment QS. So the best way to do this is get a visual look at it. So you're going to draw a line segment QS. And then you're going to put the R in the middle of that line segment. So now you can see all the segments. There's three of them, QR, RS, and QS. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is since we already got this seeable that you can understand, you know, the, the line segments here, we're going to set up an equation based solely on the line segments. We've got QR and we got RS, and they add up to equal QS. So I can say that QS and QR, uh, I'm sorry, QS is equal to QR plus RS. Okay, now once we got that set up, all we have to do is plug in the actual representation for each one. So I plugged in the 5X minus 2, 3X minus 6, and 4X minus 2, and you can see that this is the 5x minus 2 for QS, the 3x minus 6 for QR, and the, uh, the 4x minus 2 for RS. All right. Now, once I do that, all we got to do is just solve the equation for x. And then there's another step after that, but let's just solve the equation. So, uh, we're going to take our like terms. The 3x and the 4x, combine those. Neg uh, 3 and 4 is 7x. Negative 6 and negative 2, same sign, find the sum. Negative 8. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract 7x, moving the variable to the left. So we're going to subtract 7x on both sides. And then we're going to subtract. Uh, once we do that, we get negative 2x minus 2 is equal to negative 8. And then we're going to add 2 on both sides. Okay, that's going to leave us negative 2x is equal to negative 6. And then we're going to divide by 2. Negative 2, that is. And I get x is equal to positive 3. Negative divided by negative is positive. So now we have x is equal to 3, but that's not the answer because we're looking for RS. So to get RS, what we're going to do is use this expression here. That's what RS is. So we're going to uh, write that out, and we're going to plug in the 3 in for X. And then we're going to do 4 times 3 to get 7. I'm sorry, 4 times 3 to get 12. And then subtract 2 on both sides and get 10. So RS, the actual measure length of RS is 10. All right, let's take a look at another example. All right, you can go ahead and pause the video and see if you can solve this on your own. Okay, so let's look at this one. We're going to go ahead, set up the equation, set up the, the, the picture here first. And we got the QS, and we got the R in the middle. And then we got the equation over here on the right. And then we're going to plug in those values. See, I got 2X plus 2, 3X minus 5, 5X minus 5, to correspond with the actual 
a name for each segment. Alright, then I'm going to collect my like turns. That's going to leave me with 8x minus 10 over here on the right. And I'm going to move the variable to the left by subtracting 8x on both sides. That's going to give me negative 6x plus 2 is equal to negative 10. A uh, positive uh, plus a negative. Uh, different signs, find the difference. Subtract 6, negative 6. Then I'm going to subtract the 2 on both sides. Uh, same sign, find the sum. 10 plus 2 is 12. Keep it negative. And then I'm divide by negative 6. Negative divided by negative is a positive. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So now I have x is equal to 2. And now my last step is just to plug this 2 in for what I'm looking for. In this case, I'm looking for QR. So make sure you plug it into the right expression. And then once you plug it in, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. The length of blue R is 1. Okay, and that's it. That is uh, finding the measurement of the line segments using algebra. I want to thank you for using uh, Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.